Hi, my name is Lauren Green and I am here to discuss a augmentative communication system known as PEX. It's a picture, picture exchange communication system. PEX is a way to allow a learner to take a picture and exchange it for an item. This is really good to use with children with ASD, especially early learners who may not have any um, verbal skills in the repertoire. It's a way to teach them to functionally um, ask for something, request something, and get the item that they're requesting. Um, so this is, uh, the way you do it is you have pictures of the items that are available to them. They are allowed to choose the item and then they exchange it for um, they're able to choose the picture and then exchange it for the item that they want. Um, it's really good to do a preference assessment before begin using PECs in order to find out what they're motivated for. That increases the learning um, and how quickly they learn the PEC system. So I have, a, I have an array of three set out on my table. I have a picture, or I have an EOS ball and a picture of an EOS ball. I have M&Ms and picture of M&Ms. A cookie and a picture of a cookie for my learner and I am going to um, teach them how to use the, um, the PEC system. I'll start out by presenting the array to the learner and allowing them to reach for one of the items on the table, at which point I'll block them and prompt them to hand me the picture. That way they um, know that when they give me the picture, they receive the item. So we will go on and begin our training for PECs. Um, and as I go, I will also fade out my prompts so that soon the learner is just grabbing the picture and giving it to me in order to receive the item. So here we go. All right. Here. Which one do you want? Okay. Here you go. Thank you for giving me the ball. There's the ball. Nice job. Okay. Here, choose one. Okay, here, give me the picture of the M&Ms. Awesome, here, you can have an M&M. Here. Okay, here. And I'm going to start fading my prompts. I'm going to start fading the picture closer to the items and um, guide their hand to the picture and bl um, block them from grabbing the item. And so they have to grab the picture first. Okay, choose one for me. There you go. Thanks for giving me a cookie. There's a cookie. All right. Here, pick one. Nice job choosing M&Ms. There's an M&M. And at which point, I'll start to fade out the actual items so that they only have the pictures available to choose from in order to receive the items. You want... Oh, you want the EOS ball? Here, you can have the EOS ball. That is a demonstration of how PEX is used and can be taught. Um, it's a great way to um, start out teaching it errorlessly so that the learners don't become frustrated. Um, you would prompt them through it and then you would fade out your prompts um, in, order to, in order for them to receive the item. So hopefully this is a good overview of PEX for everyone um, and I look forward to seeing everyone else's videos.